Streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and BlastTheRadio.com, this is The Lowell Green Show. The number to call and be heard around the world is 613-413-2217. Or email Lowell at BlastTheRadio.com. And now, here is Lowell Green. Oh boy. Shocker here. Hang on to your hats, folks. Yes, the city of Ottawa plans to erect 710 giant wind turbines, each taller than the Peace Tower in Ottawa. Yes, they do. Yes, the city of Ottawa plans to erect 37 square kilometers of solar panels within the boundaries of the city. Yes, the city of Ottawa plans to ban the use of gasoline-powered vehicles of all kinds. Yes, the city of Ottawa plans to ban cars of all kinds within large portions of the downtown area. Yes, the city of Ottawa plans to outlaw the burning of natural gas to heat your home. Yes, the city of Ottawa plans to ban all natural gas appliances. Yes, the cost of this will be raised through a $118 registration fee for every car. You will be charged hefty tolls to drive on city streets. You will be charged a daily fee of $20 just to enter the city of Ottawa. GPS tracking will be required, big brother, for all travel in the city. All new homes must be heated with electricity. To be clear, all of this and much more has been voted on July 6th this year and approved by the majority of city council. It is called the Climate master plan for the city of Ottawa. All measures must be in effect fully by 2050. Some measures, the purchase of electric buses is one of these measures going into effect immediately. Already extra requirements for new home construction bylaws have already been passed, increasing the cost of new homes by 20%. That's one of the few things that the media has publicized even a little bit. One of the truly amazing things about all of this is that almost all of it's gone unnoticed by the media or you, the public. As usual, the media and thus residents gone to sleep. Total cost of all of this estimated $60 billion. B, billion. Dollars. So, what do you think? How does the uh, idea of 710 giant wind turbines in our city strike you? Bother anybody? 36 square kilometers of solar panels. 36 kilometers, by the way, square kilometers, upon which crops or livestock cannot be grown. All of this, I repeat, approved by City of Ottawa Council July 6th this year. The City of Ottawa Climate Change Master Plan. What all of this is, one more example of the willingness by left-wing environmentalists to bring the economy of our cities and thus our country to its knees. Coupled with this ridiculous plan, to reach zero emissions within eight, eight years, this is the federal government, requiring a complete halt to all oil and gas production, major restrictions of mining and agriculture. That's a federal requirement within eight years. Trudeau, zero emissions. Uh, I don't know about you. Apparently, a lot of you approve this. To me, it borders on madness. We produce only 1.6% of worldwide CO2 emissions, but we have our leaders at all levels of government, 
prepared, planning to destroy our economies, impose poverty, and yes, I'm sorry, even starvation on large numbers of people to presumably get our emissions down to, from what? 1.6 to what? And we're going to beggar ourselves. I call it madness. My wife, when I told her about this, showed her the information, says it all sounds like fiction. But it is not fiction. My wife said the same thing, Lowell, when I was reading it upstairs. She's like, what? Like, what is your source for this nonsense? (laughs) It's a brainchild. We'll get into that. Brainchild of the left. And in this case, brainchild of left-winger extraordinaire Catherine McKenney who polls indicate may very well become our next mayor. Mm -hmm. Let me just say this, speaking personally. I won't be around for many of the effects of some of these laws, etc. But when all of this happens, please don't say, I didn't warn you. I, I, I know it sounds, but let me just say this. I warned you about energy requirements in the province of Ontario. I warned you about Kathleen Wynne. I warned you about Trudeau for years. Warned you, well, and I warned you about a light rail. Don't say I didn't warn you, folks, okay? Uh, Just please don't say I didn't warn you. We have people at all levels of government very clearly who are, have so taken leave of their common sense. It's, I mean, it's, I, 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 in some ways I'm almost speechless to think that elected members would vote for something like this. Well, you out, can say, oh, outgoing, outgoing on their way out the door. They did this. Uh, and, and the polls indicate that Catherine McKinney whose brainchild this is and, and would, would, would impose even much tighter restrictions. So we would have, we have the prime minister who wants to go to zero emissions within eight years, 2030 folk, that's eight years away, about seven and a half years. Um, so we have him at the federal level. Uh, now, as, as we talked about yesterday, not content with destroying the energy industry now is after agriculture. And I noticed that 36 square kilometers of solar panels on uh, within the, the boundaries, I mean, very clearly some of this land would be prime agricultural land. 36 square kilometers, a hell of a, hell of a big plot. Well, according to yesterday's show, Lowell, we're not going to have any use for agricultural land anymore. I guess that's what it is. The source of all of this, John, uh, is from the city, uh, the city itself, right? Yep. And... Uh, last night, uh, Nick Vandergrat, a uh, former colleague of ours, uh, you know, CFRA, uh, he had a guest on Tom Harris. It was my first introduction to Tom Harris is an absolutely brilliant guy when it comes to the environment. My first chance to hear him. And by the way, his conversation last night is hour two of that podcast. If you go to blast the radio's YouTube page, so youtube.com slash blast the radio. Uh, it's, it's a fascinating one hour conversation, but his website has um, this report and has their letter to council saying, are you out of your minds? Their website is icsc-canada.com. And I will put that up on um, on the screen for those who want to see it again. It is icsccanada.com. And uh, it's, it's quite the report. Let me just go through very quickly once again. Uh, this is a summary of what this is the, this is, um, this is the mass, so-called master plan for the city of Ottawa. Highlights. Approved by city council July 6th. Elimination of all fossil fuel within the city. Gas-powered cars to be banned outright. Banning of cars in whole areas of the city. Banning of natural gas appliances. Requiring new homes and buildings to be heated with electricity. Mandating conversion of the city to all electric heat. Construction of 710 wind turbines. By the way, each one of those is taller than the Peace Tower. And 36 square kilometers of solar panels, all within city limits. Cost to be covered, 
$118 car registration per year. Per car. Tolls per car. Tolls to travel on city streets. GPS tracking of your travels required. Mm. Right. Daily, daily fee of $20 per vehicle just to enter the city of Ottawa. And permits to park on city streets. We don't have a, a price for that. It's the master plan. There's more, by the way. And I didn't include this in my notes. So if you are a homeowner and you have existing gas, for example, to heat your home, you will be on the hook and required to pay for the conversion to full-on electric. So if you're a landlord and you've got a few hundred units and on and on and on, it goes. Well, I mean, the fact of the matter is uh, I heat, we heat with natural gas here. Um, if, if we had to heat right now with electricity, I mean, it would bankrupt us. The cost of electricity is, is exorbitant. That, once again, thanks to the leftists, right? We have the highest electricity rates in Ontario other than the state of California. Highest rates in North America other than California. And uh, the, the city of Ottawa is saying, well, we've got to all get rid of natural gas and everything else and uh, burn electricity. I, I, like where where we're going to get all of the money. I mean, very clearly, the city of Ottawa and the federal government is prepared to impoverish the entire country. For what? We produce 1.6% of all worldwide emissions. 60% <clears throat> of all emissions created from, from China, 70%, uh, 60% from China. It's... Madness. It's not fiction. It's madness. I, I don't know whether whether you're concerned about this or not. Very clearly, I mean, this is this has gone under the radar. They, one of the things already, I mean, people say, oh, well, they wouldn't do that. They've already passed the bylaw in the city. This was passed and reported upon with almost no comment. New restrictions on the construction of new homes in the city of Ottawa, which the city admitted will add 20 percent to the cost of a new home. I commented on this and was about the only one actually in the city that ever commented on it. I said, on one hand, we have a city council decrying the fact that we don't have enough low cost housing. And then in the next breath, they pass a law which will increase the cost of new homes by 20%. This is the kind of people we have elected. What? I, and and I'm, I'm included. I mean, I voted, I voted for, for a member of city council. So does many of you. This this apparently is the level of intelligence and integrity that we've 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 got. John, what are people saying here? Um, my favorite comment so far is a is is a one word text from Ruth at six one three four one three two two one seven. What? <laughs> I mean, that says it all, doesn't it? Can we use propane? Is her follow up question? No. No, no fossil fuels. No, no fossil fuels, fuels at all. Okay, no. so that begs the question. I just watched, and, and we all had to suffer the consequences of four lanes of the Queensway being shut down so they could replace bridges. That was all done with massive diesel machines, front-end loaders, cement trucks, pavers. It's all got to be electric. City does of Ottawa that, says does that even exist, of Lowell? Does that technology even exist? Well, yeah, they, they, you can have an electric truck. I noticed that uh, I think the city an of London. An electric steamroller? Uh, the city of London bought this. I love this. Bought the first electric, all electric, apparently, fire truck. The only thing is, in order in order to have any water pressure, they got to have a diesel, diesel engine <laughs> to power the, the water pressure. I mean, that, this, is, this is a degree of... of oh of thinking and planning of these left-wing idiots. Oh, God. You know what? My wife just handed me, and with a little note, required reading. She just bought this book for our children. 1984. Our grandchildren. Okay. Our grandchildren. 1984. Mm -hmm. Some pigs is equal. Some pigs is more equal than others. <laughs> <sighs> if you're a liberal, you're more equal, I guess. It's, it's not just the liberals. I mean... This very clearly, I mean, th this is very widespread. The fear of, of global warming is so great that ordinarily sane people are prepared to make insane decisions.
and I've done so. John, my I, I, biggest my biggest thing about global warming. Do I listen? Is the is the planet changing? Yes, it always has been. And and are we are we exacerbating the problem? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Perhaps a little bit, but if we are, we're, we're using. I mean, we're using the things that we're using are all things that are natural to this earth. They were put here for us to use. The only thing that scares me about the environment is the people who are spreading this fear. And, and it's just, it's coming out of nowhere. It's like all of a sudden, it's just this full on. Well, actually, panic. it's not nowhere. This I don't know if you realize it or not, but this panic began almost 25 years ago. We have been warned now for uh, almost 25 years Okay, yeah, that yeah. Armageddon is just tomorrow. Uh, about 10 years ago, we were told that we only had seven years left. Um, and, 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 you know, it's, so this is, this is ongoing. This, but it's, been a, a, but it's been a casual conversation and it's oh, just not seems... casual. Goodness gracious, not casual. <clears throat> look at what, look at what the province of Ontario did. I mean, with the windmills and what, you know, my goodness. Fair no, enough. It's, you know, no, yeah, fair it's enough. been building. All right. What, what are people saying here, John? Anyone that still uses electric heating can tell people how much their electric bills are. Some are higher than the rent and some more than their mortgage payments. Darlene on Facebook. Please post location and proper title of document Lowell was reading. Glenn, it is on the ICSC-Canada.com website. Tom Harris heads that up again. He was on last night here on BlastTheRadio.com. The video is on our YouTube page, uh, ICSC-Canada.com. Uh, in fact, Lowell, you, you know what? It's an 83-page report. Uh, and, and we certainly don't have time to read that. But on the screen right now, so here is part of this document. This is their response to the city of Ottawa. And, I mean, let me just pull it up on my screen here so I can read it just a little bit easier. But, I mean, some of the stuff that they're, that they're pointing out, like just the amount of waste, like absolute garbage, waste. Like, in, you want to talk about trying to save the environment. Do you know, like these solar panels, when we have to chuck them out, the amount of waste that they cause is unbelievable icsc-canada.com and i'll put that in the notes for the podcast as well their response to the city is about three or four pages and i I'm hope that, i hope that that people begin to wake up here to what's going on it's the perfect storm though isn't it lol because we have not been paying attention and you and i have talked about this and you know i'm a, I, I've, I've been beating that drum for a long time as long as we're not and city city councilors have said that to me we need you in here to do a podcast for us because nobody from mainstream media shows up here anymore to cover City Hall. Well, if we're not watching them, look what happens. Go ahead, John. What else have we got? What, what are people saying here? We need to adapt to a changing climate just like we always have, says Jake. Rick, to understand the motivation of climate fear, follow the rivers of wealth being diverted in its name. Let's go to some of the earlier comments because these people are hanging on to be heard from for a while. Uh, Glenn says, where can I get a copy of this bullshit agenda for the city? Again, I just gave that to you. I'll put the link up again for you shortly. Glenn says, just how long before our idiot prime minister follows suit? According to Fox Business, the Bank Australia, by announcement last Friday, will stop providing loans for new gas and diesel cars starting in 2025. Instead, it will only be giving loans to those buying new electric vehicles or used gas and diesel cars. Oh, wait a minute. He says, you know, when when is the prime minister going to the prime minister has already announced that Canada is going to be emission free within eight years. 2030, we're going to zero emissions. So that's eight years, seven and a half years from now. So he's already made it very plain. <laughs> Ironically on that. Yeah. He's kind of the leader isn't he of this, this stupid circus. Uh, let me see. Hazel moments ago, do city hall not have website with meetings minutes would like to read. Yeah, they do. And you know what, Hazel? I have Googled and Googled. I brought this up on the show yesterday with Lowell, and I asked Lowell if he had heard of it, and he said no. And I said, you know, interesting, because I would brought it up, you know, with my dad on the weekend. He said, I have not seen that on the news. It is, nobody's looking for this stuff, and I don't know where it is, but I found it. Thank God Tom Harris was on last night, and it's a fascinating listen again. ICSC-Canada.com, the International Climate Science Coalition. The reason that, uh, the reason, John, that that we've we've heard almost nothing is that this the media for most part supports this and they don't want to report because they know that this is going to upset i mean the idea of 710 giant turbines within the city of ottawa may upset a few people do you know how much noise that's and, going to make do you and, know how much how much vibrations th those windmills 
cause against no, my, this my, home yeah, I understand it, yeah, but my, my point is, is that it's not getting press coverage because the media realizes that people are going to be upset and they they subscribe to this. They go along with this. Um, John, God, I've got to get... God forbid get, we tell people the truth, eh, Lowell? Yeah, got to, got to get a word in here for our good friends. Um, up there in Pakenham. Uh, you know what? I, I don't think that anybody in Pakenham would approve anything this stupid. I really honestly don't. Certainly not at, at Shields. I, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. If you're talking common sense, talking good business sense, which is, is involved here as well. Uh, it's pretty hard to beat Shields. They've been in business doing very, very well since 1947. Same family, same location. They've, they're good business people. They're honest. They realize that if you're gonna if you're gonna do business for any length of time, you got to do it right, and they do it right. Prices are very reasonable. All I've ever said, and by the way, they're now a Sony registered dealer. All I've ever said is, look, at least give them a chance. They don't have the budget to buy, you know, the big box stores and big bad bud or whatever the hell it is. They don't have the budget for that. But I'm telling you, at least give them a chance. Give them a that's all. Just give them a chance to see if if they can't. They can't beat the price or match the price and ma and match or better the service. Give them a chance. Go ahead, John, please. Lowell, how the hell have you done this for so many years? I am so wound up. I'm right getting now. tired. I, you know what I get tired is that I feel you. So I, I, I get tired. I just it seems more and more difficult to to get people concerned in any way. I mean, I pounded away about Energy East. I pounded away about Kathleen Wynn about windmills and, and I, I, you know, day after day, year after year, I, I would go through ISO and say, look, wind is, wind is producing 2% today. And like, I don't know. It's just the apathy that gets me. You know what? We get the government we deserve to get the government that we allow. And we're allowing this. Go ahead, John. Woodenhead says there's a constant hum with the wind turbines here in Finch Berwick area. It's annoying, but we get used to it. We have no choice but to put up with it. Uh, Dominic says everyone needs to watch the planet of the humans that was brought up last night by uh, by Tom Harris uh, and, and it's referenced in his report too by the way uh, he says the documentary as it shows how much destruction the new so-called green plans are actually uh, harsher to our environment yes and the person who they quote in that uh, in the documentary by the way um, used to make wind turbines used to got out of the business because he realized how much harm they were causing Sounds like Ottawa is following the protocol of Vancouver, says Boo Boo on YouTube. Here we go again. The environmental and government idiots have more insane ideas. What the hell is going on? He doesn't say hell, but we did. Uh, no more agriculture and fossil fuels, question mark. We should be worried and peeved, says Darlene. If you aren't, you are not paying attention. Janet says she misses the 80s. I'm right there with you, Janet. God, what a simpler time. <laughs> All city councilor says Darlene must be removed and replaced. The time is now to give them a very strong message. Amen. Get out there and vote and ask questions when they're at your door. Lorenzo Mutieri on Twitch. If all of this comes to be, there will be the biggest uprising this city has ever seen. I doubt it. We'll sit there and take it. We always do. Just me. Offering my opinion. And says, what a bunch of freaking idiots those running the city are. Uh, this is all just so much expensive, stupid waste of money bullshit, and it will drive up the cost of home ownership in this city even more. You know, I, let me, me, me sorry, sorry to course. jump in, but. No, no, it's your show. If we have a problem in this province, in this country, and we do, the number one is health care. It's astonishing to me that the city of Ottawa Council would approve $60 billion to, bend wind, to build windmills and solar panels and not a peep about health care. And we saw this with Kathleen Wynne. We saw this with the Liberal governments for, for decades in the province of Ontario and the Conservatives too for a while. It, you know, all, all the concern, all of the money, all of the energy, climate, climate, climate. In the meantime, our hospitals are crumbling. Health care system is falling apart. And in the city of Ottawa, $60 billion they're prepared to spend, charge you. It's not the city that's going to spend this money. They're no, going to take the thing your money, okay, your money to do this. Whether you like it or not, that's what they're going to do. $20 to re-enter the city. So if I go shopping at Shields, who are just outside the city limits, and I want to come back into the city where I live and pay taxes, $20, please. 
But what I'm saying is, is that that's th this is not the number one concern of people. It's not even the number two or no. five. No, health care. So let's spend them. If we're going to spend sixty billion dollars, yes, let's, let's build sixty billion dollars worth of new hospitals and clinics, and hire doctors and hire nurses, and create decent long-term care. I'm right there with you. That, and, and I was thinking that in the back of my mind. The conversations I'm having with my friends and my family are the lineups of the hospitals, how hard it is to get in and get simple things done at the hospitals, the, the ambulance situation at the hospitals. It's healthcare, 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 long-term care homes. Nobody, so what, nobody so what? Is, is, is expressing any concern about the environment except the politicians. And the only conversation we have about it is on this show. And we have the conversation because it's so absurd. So what does the city do? Does it declare a health care emergency? No. No. It declares a climate emergency. No, we're, we're going to solve it with so electric ambulances what, and John, fire trucks, hear, apparently. Let, let, let's hear what some other people have to say. <sighs> Joshua, where was the local mainstream media? Did I miss something? Was I asleep? Was it purposely omitted knowing there would be a backlash? The media is meant to be the fifth estate, and it is failing once again. And says, I think we could come up with a Citizens of Ottawa master plan to get rid of these leftist zealots. Uh, over to David on Facebook. House values in Ottawa will drop like a stone. Darlene says, who financially benefits out of all these changes? Oh, wait, that would be Hydro Ottawa. Uh, Lynn on Facebook. All these environmental hypocrites are still driving gas vehicles. They fly, not electric planes. I bet they all have cell phones, probably work and personal, all made with fossil fuel items. Uh, I hope they take care of this soon. Oh, and is, is having a private conversation with somebody. I apologize. Uh, John is fired up today. I am fired up. And you know what? I... <laughs> Because it's important. This is so bloody important. And I am so grateful to be part of this with Lowell because, you know, on a lot of this, he's right. And it pisses me off how it's not getting talked about. And you need to share the hell out of this show and get the word out because they're pulling this on us. Let me it's let me just say that yesterday uh, I really pitched Let's Share. And we had a large number of shares. And guess what? The listenership to the show almost doubled. Yes, it did. So, the, you know, people podcast say, well, is what, way up. People, people say often say, well, what can I do? Well, I mean, it's pretty simple. Get just, involved. No, but wait just a minute. Push, Sorry. share. If you want to do something, I mean, not, you know, just push. Share. That's all we're asking. Just push, share. We can double the audience. If more people can, can understand what's going on. But you can do something. Just push, share. That's all. That's all. Sorry, John, almost out of time here. Listen, you know, this is the most Canadian show ever. You're apologizing to me. I'm apologizing to you. It's, you know, we're, we're wound up. Uh, no, listen, these are important conversations, and we do. We want more audience to be part of it. Whether they agree uh, or not, we need to bring people into this conversation. Well, let me just ask Let me just ask people, and I know what the answer is. Do you think we should be spending $60 billion on windmills and solar panels or $60 billion on health care? If you were in council or in any position of authority, decision making, how would you vote? You've got sixty billion dollars that you're going to play. You're going to build windmills and solar panels, or sixty billion dollars you're going to spend it on the health care. What are you going to do? Well, in all caps, Jules says health care. There's another vote for health care from Chrissy. Um, correct my math if I'm wrong on this, Lowell. We're a city of a million people, so sixty billion dollars works out to six hundred dollars per individual. I don't know. I, I, I when when I do math, strong men shudders. Shudder, so uh, I'm not, <laughs> not, not going to another, another vote for health care. Another vote for health care. Uh, what was the video on that planet called again? Tony, um, I, I will find that for you, Tony. Sorry, I, I don't have it off the top of my head right now. Uh, on YouTube, Boo Boo says, get all of the Ottawa councillors to ride scooters to and from work, even in the winter. Ha ha. Make sure they have snow tires on. Morons that they are. Uh, healthcare gets another vote with all this progress in the city of Ottawa says Woodenhead, we will digress back to the stone age due to the extreme costs involved. Another vote for healthcare from Lynn healthcare from Lorraine healthcare from Joan as well. 613-413-2217. Deb says we can't change climate change. Healthcare and long waits for all, including specialists. This person's comment is Ruth says, uh, how can we access previous shows to send them to people? Uh, Ruth, very simply, go to lowellgreen.com. That'll get you to blasttheradio.com slash lowellgreen. All of Lowell's past shows are there. The YouTube link is there, and the podcast link is there. 
and you can share, 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 share. But if you're listening on social media, as has been pointed out, there's a little arrow on the bottom right-hand corner of the Facebook video. You just have to click that and your friends will know. You know John, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I just said, would you spend $60 billion on healthcare or, or turbines? Um, if I, if I was in a position, I would, I would obviously spend it on healthcare, but sure. I might take out a few million dollars and uh, fix the chaos at our airports and take a few more million dollars so that people could get reasonable passports. I might have a few more million dollars so we could bring the refugees from Ukraine and Afghanistan that we promised. So there's a few other problems in this country. I have got turbines. Gotta go. I'm, I've, I've, I've had it. Folks, <laughs> Me too. do what you can to share this. Spread the message. Check it out yourself. Have a look. Talk to your city councilor. Find out what the hell's going on here. Thank you all. We'll be back tomorrow. The Lowell Green Show is seen and heard live around the world at 2 p.m. Eastern. Connect with us online at blasttheradio.com slash Lowell Green. Can't join us live? Download the Lowell Green podcast. Available on Apple, Spotify, Google, and more. Ask your smart speaker to play the Lowell Green podcast. This is a production of blasttheradio.com.